Matt wants seven kids. Ha! You know how much college tuition that is? God damn. <laughs> no, you don't. Apparently, I'm emotionally <laughs> immature. to my channel. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We celebrate Christmas. Happy holidays. Um, it is currently Christmas Eve mm. and Matt and I Matt and I both live far away from our family, so we are spending Christmas Eve in the North Pole <laughs> with each other. Um, so we figured it could be fun. <laughs> like our little nativity scene. We are spending with each other. Just we thought it'd be fun to make some gingerbread houses, have a little like boozy cocktail, and answer some assumptions that you guys submitted to us on Instagram. So I am enjoying some Honeycrisp apple cider from Trader Joe's with a splash of vodka. <laughs> and what are you, Matt? I am thoroughly enjoying some eggnog with a Splash of whiskey. Yeah, that's what we're drinking. We are going to <laughs> build two gingerbread houses while we answer some assumptions. I've heard that this gingerbread house poses some difficulties. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the icing, first off, starting off just not on a great note, we have to make the icing it's by, in a box. by whipping egg whites, mm -hmm. creating stiff peaks. Stiff peaks? Yeah, until it begins to stiffen, and st then stir the package of sugar. Add a few drops of lemon juice or white vinegar to make the icing stickier. Are you like, no. <sighs> That's a lot of work. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Can I have some glue? Do you guys actually eat the gingerbread houses when you make them? I feel like you know. Okay, anyway, uh, we're gonna try to make some stiff peaks with egg whites, and then... Let me know how that goes. No. Okay. We'll get back to you. Explain what you're doing. I'm taking the fix. Getting the egg white out. While he's doing that, I'll show you what's in the kit. Comes with these little people. How cute are they? Some gummies, some M&Ms, or whatever, chocolate coated mm -hmm. colors, and this. Get to whipping. Just added the sugar in, the sugar packets, into the beaten egg. How much of this? I have no idea. I do the packets away. Fuck. Who needs a KitchenAid? Well, I think it's good though. I probably shouldn't be eating that. Oh, that's yours. These are actually really good. They're soft. I feel like. I feel like gingerbread houses are usually more. These are nice. Put them back back. Please to be posting in the sink. Yeah, you're whole. Matt's a perfectionist with this kind of stuff. Oh, she's big! Oh my god. Stop moving, stop moving. <laughs> you're moving. Why are we breathing so heavily? Okay, that's good. That's a lot. Thank you. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Are you gonna try to do it? I don't know. You should. You know what? You should put these facing backwards this way to equal it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Hold, please. The first one. You guys PG yourself on camera. No. Yes. Yeah, I think to an extent we do. It's a family friendly channel. Which, I mean, like, we're drinking and, like, my tree has turned into a truck. Yeah, because you keep eating it. It is good though. I, I think, yeah, we PG ourselves. I think we PG ourselves in the way that like, we don't swear as much. We are pretty just like dry humor, sarcastic people to begin with. So sometimes that can obviously come off weird if you don't know context or whatever. Yeah. But I don't know. Trust me, I would love to just like 
let it fly. Loosey goosey. But I mean, I'm also in The school. ghost is loose. I'm in school still, you know, I'm graduating soon. Gonna be looking for jobs. Right. I don't really Good know job. if it's gonna be a traditional job or continuing on with like online stuff, ideally the online stuff. But I don't know, I, I feel like I still have to kind of like keep my cool, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm ideally one day I wanna just be like, bleh. Also not artistic in the slightest, so. Next assumption. You're, <laughs> this is about me. You're more on the introverted side, but love to have fun with people you're close to. A hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A hundred percent, that is so me. I am very introverted. Even to the fact that like when people find out about YouTube, they're like, what? Like, and then, I don't know. I just, I am very introverted. I'm very like, I don't have a lot of friends. I'm more like quality over quantity, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not crazy outgoing. Like you're not gonna notice me in like a room full of people like screaming and all that. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> yeah, that's more mad. But yeah, I'm not, but I am really fun with my friends. So I feel like if, <laughs> humble brag. <laughs> <laughs> Take it from her, she's super fun. <laughs> but I feel like, yeah, I'm not, I'm very introverted though in that way. I'm like an introverted extrovert. I feel like that's what people. Dang it. <laughs> it went all back there. Matt, what would you say you are? Uh, a good time. You and Matt secretly eat fast food, junk food all the time. Sales <laughs> job. He does. I feel like you eat out more and all that more than me. Yeah, when you're in your car. And yeah, so Matt does like medical sales. So he is like constantly in his car. So I guess it is easier for you to like just stop and eat out if you didn't like pack a lunch. I never want people to think that I eat like 100% just vegetables and like no sugar, whatever. I definitely, oh, that's so cute. It's Clark Griswold. <laughs> I always like live just like a, a healthy, balanced lifestyle. I'm never one to, you know, turn down something. Like I eat everything. I always say like I'm the, I'm not a picky eater by any means. Uh, I will eat anything, and I just know that when I'm at home eating for myself, like I genuinely enjoy eating healthier, more balanced meals, and that's just what I enjoy doing, I feel better when I do it that way. I don't always eat 100% like in your mind what you're thinking, like a well-balanced meal. Like I love. I had Taco Bell last week. <laughs> yeah, and we made like Crunchwrap Supremes. Like people would think like I don't eat carbs or I don't eat anything that could not be further from the truth. I am trying to show more transparency of like you know, when I'm not eating something that I made at home, it honestly makes more sense for me when I am sharing something that it's something that I made at home because that's what you guys want to see is like recipes. And so I'm not going to necessarily show you when I'm like eating out at a restaurant or like ordering food because I didn't make it and it's not like a recipe for you guys. But um, I'm realizing more and more that you guys want to see when I'm like just eating anything. So I'm trying to share more like if I'm getting takeout or looks so bad. If I'm whatever eating out of a restaurant, like what I'm getting. And I would love to do like a series too, if you guys are interested on like what I would eat at like certain fast food restaurants or eating out. Yeah, just whatever. If you guys want to ever see that, let me know. Cause I do find it like a challenge and like I love that kind of stuff. I get like sick pleasure out of it that y'all would be really fun to hang out with. Obviously. Thanks. Yeah, I feel like we are. I mean, we have some really fun friends and we love hanging out with them. And I don't know, I feel like we have just been lucky. I mean, we've been dating for over six years now. We, we've been really lucky. We have really good friends. None of this is sticking. Why isn't it sticking? Or is this way cuter than mine already? Uh, these are hard. They are. 
But yeah, we've been like really lucky with our friend groups. Like we have awesome friends. We are we are fun. We are fun to hang out with. I will I will say that. We've been told. Herm's the most fun. Yeah, Herm is how we get in the door, but then we carry the conversation after that. This is hard. I'm like not artistic at all. You guys are each other's first serious relationship. I feel like I'm your first serious relationship. Because you only had high school relationships after. Apparently, I'm emotionally immature. I was told that I was like allergic to being single. I always had a boyfriend. But yeah, I mean like Matt is for sure my first serious. It's been six years, I feel like it'd be hard not to. But I've had relationships of like three years, of two years before. <laughs> what is that? My Christmas tree. This? Mm -hmm. God. Matt wants seven kids. <laughs> You know how much college tuition that is? God damn! <laughs> I want like two, maybe three kids. Three. Yeah. So we're we're good on that. I think like once we have two, we'll kind of figure it out. Like, what do we think? I feel like that's also really hard to answer now with no kids because we really have no idea. I want to four, so I definitely don't want an only child. Man. Yeah. One of the questions was you guys. You guys both come from big families, so. Yeah, I, have you three, I have three siblings. Yeah. Matt has. This is supposed to look awake. <laughs> nice. So Matt has a lot of siblings. I only have my brother, who I actually my first video on this channel is with. Um, I interviewed him. He's been in the NBA before. He's like basketball player. He's really cool. But he's currently in Okinawa, Japan. So I haven't seen him in so long because of the pandemic, especially. So that sucks. Yeah, I we don't want too many people. <laughs> I don't want too many kids. I don't think I can handle it. Three kids. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Two, three. It's fine. So many. Matt secretly enjoys filming with you. I do enjoy it. <laughs> Eating food and drinking. You got me. <laughs> He's opened up so much. I'm very proud of him. Peacock, you gotta let me fly. Blair is the funnier one. You don't think I'm funnier? I think you're hilarious. You do think I'm funny. You say that all the time. You are funny. You are funnier. Don't forget who started this channel, okay? Yeah. This is a little babushka. A little babushka. Yeah, so we agree. I'm funnier. Okay. Matt farts and giggles in his sleep. Yes. Matt talks so much in his sleep. He randomly just starts laughing in his sleep, which is terrifying when it's like pitch black and you just hear like evil laughter. No. I'm assuming that I'm a good student and I make sure the group project isn't shit, but I'm not annoying about it. 100%. That is so spot on. That is 100%. I'm a very good student. I am a very good student. I take that very seriously and I enjoy learning. It's my second degree. I'm going back to school. I, I genuinely love learning. Yeah, I definitely am. Yeah. I hate when people slack in group projects. I don't care about like winning to the last minute. Like I get it, we have lives. But like then just pull your weight and do your shit before it's due. Yeah, bro. Yeah, and like know what you're gonna say if we're presenting something. Like, and don't read from a card. Just learn it. It's like five minutes. Of oh. But yeah, I'm not annoying about it either, which is just my problem in life in general. I have to get better at like asking. Blair wears the pants in the relationship. Do you see any pants on her? No. I feel like that's one good thing about us. Just one. <laughs> That we're very, we're very similar in that way. What? That neither of us wear pants. <laughs> but also like, not just one of us is. Like we're very, we work very well together. Si, señorita. Yeah, we're very similar, but also very different in the same way, which I think is good because we like push each other in that. But I don't think anyone wears the pants. Um, Herman runs the house. Yeah. Literally he wears, wears whatever he wants. Yeah, yeah. he wears the He pants. wears the sweater in our relationship. <laughs> he wears the sweater. You don't want to get married or you don't believe in marriage. Not true. I'll let you take that one away. Not true. Not true. Hold him to it, ladies. You have the best fashion sense. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. You guys like to party. We definitely do like to like hang out with our friends and Hi, my name is Rod and I like to party. My favorite, like my favorite, favorite kind of night is like just a, like having your girlfriends come over or go to like a, not like out, but just like having them over either in like a common area in our apartment or in our apartment, having some wine, some like cheese, just like 
a chill night and just hanging out like that. That is my favorite, favorite thing to do. Yeah. I'm not gonna say that I don't like to go out because I do go out with my friends, but it's just like expensive. We like to go out, we're young, we don't have kids. I feel like- I ain't got no kids. Obviously with COVID that's put a whole damper on things, but you know, we met bartending in college. Like I was a bottle service girl, he was bartender. We do like to have fun. Hold up, hold up. Out. Yeah. Blair is neat, not, not so much. I, okay, I'm not, this, okay. I don't think, so Matt is very specific with his, with his things. You talk more because I'm not even decorating because. No, we're neat in different aspects. Yeah, 100%. I'm very particular about certain things. Like, just, like where do you begin? I don't know, like the kitchen? Yeah. Or, I don't know. I just have certain things, certain ways that certain things should be done. Like loading the dishwasher a certain way or folding his laundry a certain way. That's the biggest thing, I think. I'm sorry, I don't like to wear wrinkly clothes. I don't care. I just, I, I just don't, don't care. Do. <laughs> Tell me the way you the laundry. <laughs> I just don't do it that. I just don't fold your laundry. I think, ah! I think I'm done. Oh my god. Okay, you need to answer more. So what was the end of that? I'm. We're both clean people. Like none of like we both like a clean house. I thought you were reading my shit. We both like a clean house. I, I would say on a neatness scale of one to ten, I think we're both at like a seven. Neat. Neatness, like yeah, I feel like we're neat. like we're clean, but we're also busy. Yeah, like you're not gonna find like cereal bowls in our bedroom or like milk left out. Yeah, but there's like laundry that still needs to be put away. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I agree with that. That's fair. Like we're not dirty. We're not yeah, dirty. No. I think that's the difference. There's yeah, difference yeah. between dirty and untidy. Now I assume Matt was in a fraternity and he was really good at funnel chugs. <laughs> Both true. I was in <laughs> Uzma Kappa. No. It's a Monsters University reference. Oh, yeah. Well, he wasn't in a frat. I was not in a frat. Dude. Matt played lacrosse in college. He was the captain of the Matt was the captain of the lacrosse team. So do with that as you will. Oh, we lost. Oh, no. Look, <laughs> he's amputated. He doesn't, oh no! I was not in a fraternity, and I've never funneled a beer. I'm feeling like two truths and a lie. Matt loves a chug beer. He loves beer. Y'all are secretly married. Yep. Got us. Got him. Got him, you wanna show him your- I'm secretly hungry. Again? Yeah. We just ate. I know. Show him your- I was gonna ask you how you put your tree in this hole, but you didn't. Okay. Yeah, my tree's on top of my house because it's awesome. That's it? Those are the ones you're gonna read? Okay, well. I'm focused now. Oh my god. Oh, I'm done constructing my masterpiece. One of you, one or both of you got fit after being with each other. So, like, say, like, I was fit and then you decided to. No. No. I got fat. No, like, we, been... we met and we were both, like, fit. But then we. We both are athletes. Like we What's played, your definition of fit? We both <laughs> we both played sports our whole life, so I remember like we would go to the Oh you know what I should do. Wow. You decapitated your person. On accident I dropped him. Yeah. You wow. guys like oh wait, you guys like to go out to eat together. Ooh, Absolutely. Ooh. In your spot! Uh, okay, we love like uh, Asian food. Sushi. Ramen. Yeah. Pho. Pho is like my favorite thing ever. Um, what do we get in Chicago? Sub sandwiches, Jersey Mike's, Fontanos. Yeah. This is a little morbid that I'm doing here. Y'all spend a lot on groceries. Yes. Sure. But we also don't eat out a lot. <laughs> Relatively <laughs> speaking. Yeah, I feel like a lot. We at home a lot. Yeah. For a normal person. Yeah. I feel like we don't eat out for lunch, like I don't ever really eat out for lunch. I only eat out really if I'm with him, just because I'm not really out a lot. We cook a ton, that's just like what we like to do. So yeah, we spend, oh my God. No, no. <laughs> Give it back. Oh my God. You eat good 24 seven, absolutely not. Nope. 
And also I don't want to, I hate thinking of food as like good and bad. Like we learn in school not to, like in dietetic school, not to do that. There, that's very uh, restricting. Mm -hmm. So I never want to say like good versus bad, but if you're thinking of like eating a wholesome, like balanced diet all the time, absolutely not. Yes, and I'm trying to be more transparent about that like on social media and stuff, like posting on Instagram, like when we do. I just thought people didn't want to see that before because I wasn't actually cooking the meal. But, because when I cook meals, I genuinely make like healthier meals because that's just what I like to do. Um, but yeah, I assume you guys will always want to live in Texas or the South. I do like Texas. I do like I don't South. think like always though. We'll see. Yeah. That's not the answer. That's what they're looking for. But no, we like Texas, but I don't know. It's hard. Like, <laughs> what is this? Dude, what have you been doing this whole time? Talking, carrying this video. My back is sore from carrying the team. I'm sorry, I was building a home. The gumdrop button. Not the gumdrop button. Y'all been ring shopping. Perhaps. That's a secret I'll never tell. You know you love me. XOXO. Is that a commercial? Gossip girl. Oh, you idiot. <laughs> you guys are ready to get married, but you're waiting until you're done with school. No. <laughs> I'm ready to get married. But we're waiting until we're done with school. No, we're not. <laughs> yeah, Blair is a funny one. Matt has a biggest sweet tooth. Just want to reiterate those. Oh, someone said I've always had an easy time staying in shape. Like I said, I've been active my whole life. So, no. I, uh, I've always been, like, in shape in the fact that, like, I played sports. But built-wise, like, if I, like, aesthetically, I have... <laughs> oh, my God. Matt won. It's so annoying losing you. Matt is a germaphobe. Oh, no, I'm like the opposite of a germaphobe. He's like licking shit off the table. <laughs> nah, dude, I grew up drinking out of the damn garden hose. Y'all are the best of friends to each other. You're the people I'd call to go out with. <laughs> are we best of friends? Yeah. Where did my best friend? We've been living together for, it was three- 59 years. Three years in September, right? Three years. Three years. We've lived together for three years, and we spent a whole quarantine and we haven't together. Each other yet. And actually, we were saying that quarantine was like actually really good for us. Mm, we made it through. We had fun though. It wasn't even like Hard. it's it's crazy because with his job that he had during quarantine, he has to, when he can't be in the hospitals. It's like very hard for him to like actually work. Obviously, he can do his own like admin stuff, but I don't have an office. Majority of stuff. Yeah, he has an office. He can't like just like remote into somewhere. So like he was at home 24-7 and I was at home 24-7 because I was in school um, and my gym that I work at was closed. So we were literally together in this one bedroom apartment for like five months. One pillowcase. Ain't nobody call me. <laughs> I don't know what you say half the time. <laughs> Ain't nobody write me. That's what it was. Close ups. <laughs> Explain yours. Go. Okay, so um, you have a nice snowy white Christmas front yard. She got chopped in half, so this is her head and that's her legs. Why did she get chopped in half? Oh, that's a guy. Wait. Did it... you chop him? No. You chopped him? No. He was using the wood chopper okay, to make a fire. That's not fair because I chopped my person, then you chopped. Hey, who? Copier. You have the dog, Hurricane Ditka, centerpiece. Okay. <laughs> If you ever went to high school, you're familiar with what this is. <laughs> and here we have Clark Griswold putting up his Christmas lights next to a makeshift Christmas tree because I turned my real Christmas tree into the <laughs> keystone of the home. Because you the ate pineapple on the top. You ate half of it. Wait, Why is yours so much better than mine? I'm so embarrassed. Okay, it's here's extremely artistic. I know. This is the side of mine, a smiley face, because you know, be happy. <laughs> this guy fell out of the off the table, so he shattered. So I just kind of put him around the Christmas tree. It's a little, a little dark, but I kind of like it. This girl's hanging out the window, being like, "Hey!" Then the babushka is trying to climb up the house. Silly girl. I don't know what this is. This there's a cat on the wall roof, and then I kind of tried a little scallop, a little scallop. I think we all agree Matt won, but I think it's because I was just talking the whole time and I couldn't really think of like a plan because I was carrying this video. Meanwhile, I was building a home. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. 
I hope it got to your assumption. Make sure you're liking and subscribing our videos. And I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. A yeah. uh, Happy New Year, staying safe. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. And don't forget to rush into Macapa. We're okay. What does that mean? It's from Monsters University. Like Monsters Inc? Yeah, but the second one. Okay. Anyway, all right. Macapa. Hope you guys have a great night. Go to sleep early because Santa's coming tomorrow. Or he might not. This should be up hopefully tomorrow right. for Christmas. All right. Bye. Bye guys. Ooh.